what we need to do here, I'm going to do it in this view. Alright. I'm going to zoom in on this. I'm going to do another extrusion here. All the way back. Alright. Now, let's see. Before I start, I'm going to go ahead and knife it. Well, no, I'm not. I'll show you why here in a minute. Okay, if we look at our top here, at what we've got, okay, we we need to connect these two to make the roof. Now, what I'm going to do is move this one over and. Move this one over. And up. Now, of course, what I'm going to do is connect them. And that, of course, is accomplished by hitting the F key. Now, as you can see over here, we've got a little height issue. No problem. Select it. and just bring it down. All right, we're connected. There we go. Okay, now to make the rest of the roof, this is where it gets fun. Well, not quite yet. To make the rest of the roof, we are going to extrude off of this, these points. So we're going to extrude on the edges. And I'm just going to bring this right over here to the middle and drop it. Now, whoops. Okay, it's set. And I'm going to even out there. There's a little green line. I don't know if you can see it right in the middle there, but that marks the extent of this. Now, if you back off and let's take a look here at what we've done so far. Wow. It's starting to look like a real car. Like I said, no problem here. And we're going to deal with that. I know what it is, but I left it in there because what I want to do is to get this car looking just like it needs to be so that we'll start getting a little more confident in our modeling abilities. Something I do want to do real quick though, uh, here on the very rear, we never really brought these surfaces here in. So what I'm going to do here is begin to bring these in to where they meet with the rear hatch. And even though our pictures aren't exactly 100% matching up at this point with our model, and that happens a lot, it's no big deal. I would just want you to get the idea that this is modeling. You know, nothing really too bad can happen unless we just get totally wiped out and something terrible happens. So I'm bringing these in to match with this drawing. In the end, we're going to be left with a, a car that looks very much like the original in most of the dimensions. When you're modeling, you have to fudge sometimes to get what you want. Okay, and I believe that's okay. Let's look. All right, and let's, oh yeah, okay. So we brought those in. There's a little bit of junk back here I'm gonna have to deal with. Reiterating again, this is rough in. 
Okay, well, we've got to the point now that I want to uh, really take this to the next level. We've got half a car, whoopee, uh, yeah, it looks okay. But uh, now we're going to do sort of a whole car. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how we do that. All right, now, down here, we have the modifiers tab. And we have the mirror modifier. So, we have one piece here that we're dealing with. When we make the hood and the rear hatch, we're going to be dealing with separate pieces. But <coughs> this is one piece. So we can add a modifier, and the modifier will, the mirror modifier, you have all these little modifiers here, and uh, we'll be using a few more of these uh, as we go. I'm going to hit the mirror modifier. Oh, what happened? Okay. Well, um, the mirror modifier mirrored it, but as you can see, it mirrored it kind of in a wrong way along the z-axis. And if you look down here, the x-axis is checked. If I uncheck or unclick, unclick, um, if I click on that and deselect it, you can see what happens. Okay. And uh, if I click the Y, you can see that it's, it's mirroring at the front. Well, that looks like garbage. We don't want that. And if I click the Z, hmm, okay. This is the one I want to concentrate on, okay? Now, as you can see, what's wrong here? What's wrong? Well, it's mirroring it, but it's off. Kelter here. Problem? Nope. Uh, you know, I technically could have planned for this, but you know, hey, what's the fun of showing you how to fix the worst screw ups? Okay? So, this happened to me in my first modeling session. It took days to figure out how to fix it. Now I'm going to show you how to do it in just a few seconds. Okay. Basically, what we're going to do here is we, we have to select all the points in this. So, um, no, that's not what I want. B, and I'm going to just go through here and hit everything. All my points are selected. You don't want to leave any points you are going to be you know, un not selected. So, I suggest doing it from the side view. It will pick up all your points. Now, if we look at what I'm going to do here. Oops. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now, oops, well, we got a little problem with our background picture, but that isn't a problem. Okay, what I want to do now is just show you what it looks like. And, wow. Okay, we've got a little gap there that I'm going to close. Blender has a feature to totally close that, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Oh, wow, look at this. Now, does that look cool? Yep. The car is starting to look like a car. Yeah, we got a flat roof. We're going to have to round that out, but look at that. that. That's really gorgeous. That's really great. You know, now, now it's time to get pumped because the car is really starting to look like a car. And uh, your efforts are really paying off at this point. Okay. Now... I'm going to show you at this point how to adjust the blueprints in the back and we're go also going to adjust this one here because this one's fine no problem with this one of course we we have to adjust now to make up for the discrepancy uh, so we're gonna go to our background image alright the X offset I believe is what we need and we're gonna move this over so much just right close to the place about where it was okay all right now this one okay that one's all right well i mean maybe a little bit of air but we'll deal with it okay so now same thing on this one i'm going to get rid of this for right now if we need to adjust it more we'll come back and do that later bring it up there where we can see it. View, 
background image and we're going to do the X offset again and we're going to move this over here. Now, uh, hmm. we can't see it right now but as you can see the image right right here in this this part you can see I'm really touching with this point the the extent of the roof up there but when we come up here we can see the extent of our roof is a little bit down and that's a scaling problem we can do like the Y offset and put it right down there which you know for all practical purposes is okay we're gonna have to probably move this around a little bit more because like I said we have a defect in this right now and we're gonna have to just work with it and uh, work off of the photographs but as you can see right now uh, don't let that bother you our car is really coming together so in this tutorial we really learned how to put a lot of things together and use the mirror modifier which is just basically you know saved us a whole lot of work and, and it's made a perfect replica from one side or the other a few problems on our car you know it's like right here this we'll deal with that later there's some things back here that we have to tweak out but right now I'm really concerned with getting the car roughed in well that's all I'm going to cover in this tutorial I hope you've enjoyed this it's been really fun and uh, we're going to move on to in the next tutorial we're going to create the hood and the rear hatch hood, the hood has some real intricacies on it that we're going to have to deal with uh, the rear hatch is pretty straightforward but uh, well so long stay with the course and uh, you'll be modeling really great in no time bye bye see you later thanks for watching